guys I don't know what's up with my hair I promise you it doesn't look white but for some reason there's a chaos I don't know how to get rid of it it's the first time it's happening it's annoying I'm a camera so for today my hair look stupid but on a regular basis my hair look nice keep it in mind anyways hi guys welcome back to my channel and we are going to do a unboxing slash first impressions on my first niche niche fragrance I, that's what i would like to call it my first niche niche fragrance and i got this for my birthday and i am excited because i have karnak temple and karnak temple is said to be a dupe for zerjav more than words um and i love color i love i love karnak temple like it's less than half um so by the way karnak temple is from alexandria fragrances so i love karnak temple but let's see how i feel about zershaf baby oh if you're interested in hear my thoughts slash first impression slash review on the zershaf more than words then keep on watching tell you some notes and description on this fragrance so i'm going to read off of fragrantica okay so more than words from zershaf is a amber woody fragrance for men and women so it's a unisex fragrance and it was launched in 2012 so they just told us the notes behind it um not much it says it's from a join the club collection which includes 10 perfumes representing different kinds of virtu virtual clubs the 10 fragrances and the clubs that they belong to and zerjav more than words is let me see i can't find it to be honest more than words captures the world of writers and poets so the ingredients are kept a secret each fragrance has its identification card with its number da, 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 da. the main accords for this fragrance so we have amber oud fruity floral fruity and floral warm spicy woody sweet and fresh spicy okay so the notes that are in this fragrance so it's just one line of notes so we have oud which is agar wood we have a fruity notes floral notes oriental notes ambergris woody notes labdanum and olibanum i'm not sure if i can pronounce that correctly okay so i'm also going to smell this and tell you my first impressions slash review and then i'm going to smell the karnak temple and compare both to see if they actually smell alike or have any similarities yada 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 open the package it's a three pound package it comes in a box and then in this plastic so it's double packaged okay and this is the box so it says more than words um it's this is the 100 mil i got this on old factory i believe joel told me about old factory and i got it off of there um i will i was willing to buy it off of lucky sense and it was 205 dollars for a 50 mil and i actually bought this for 195 dollars for a hundred mil so big up joel all the time okay so it opens out like this and this is the fragrance so many packages okay so zerg off so this is the packaging this cartridge okay so we have things on the inside oh it's purple i was not expecting purple i was really like expecting like a deep blue like this never expected purple at all I <sighs> okay so this is it it's in a leather what do you call those sponge packaging so it has right here it's kind of soft like soft leather memory foam soft but not that soft it, just, it doesn't have much bones to it so just nice and soft and their logo and that's it for the packaging okay so let's open it together oh it's this way 
Yeah, let's open it together, guys. Okay. So this is a, this is supposed to be an experience for not just me, for you guys. Yes. They have Zajaf here. Let's. Okay. I was not expecting this, but I want to show you guys. See so if I can zoom. Okay. There we are, guys. Okay, so open. And here is. Oh! Of course, that was going to happen. It's me. And here is the bottle. Guys, don't mind my nails. I'm trying to take them off. So. I must say, my favorite color is blue. And this. This blue is sexy. Some would say it's purple. It could be purple. It could be indigo, to be honest. But it's sexy, baby. So, the opening of the box was, it was an experience. It felt like I bought a niche fragrance, you know? Let's zoom it out because my ear can go out with nothing. Definitely felt like an experience. Um, this is, I would say she, but I think, I think it's a him. So this is him. The color of the bottle is giving me what i expected it to give like look at that it's beautiful oh i love the bottle i love the bottle it feels heavy it feels heavy duty like if you if you fling this it busts and i feel like if you fling it it would even broke like it feels like it won't break for 200 and how much did i pay for it 190 well, two hundred and five dollars after tax, so that's a bit of dust, but that's fine. But this is it. It's beautiful. Like, it is so stunning. I think it's probably the most gorgeous bottle I own. Yeah, this is the most gorgeous bottle I own, and it looks. I love it. Like, I think even if I don't enjoy the juice as much, the bottle just oh. But I think I, I'm, I know I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to enjoy the juice, guys. I'm gonna waste my money, so I'm gonna no enjoy it. Um, so now, presentation, packaging over. Okay, so cast my outside. Wow, that was hard to get off. But the cap feels, it feels heavy. It feels like the Lena exclusive was flung to you you definitely get like a bruise so it is definitely heavy duty um it has the x the logo on the nozzle i smell this is something i smell it okay i'm smelling i'm smelling i'm smelling i'm smelling i am going to like it i just hope it smells a little bit different than Karnak Temple, like a little bit more than Karnak Temple. Like, you know, I just don't feel like, I don't want it to feel like I could have just bought another Karnak Temple. So I just wanted to have something more. You know, you get me? So, let's see. Let's do two sprays. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot of money. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me get my thoughts. Okay. It's scratching me, like the paper is, it, it's tickling me. I think I have my thoughts gathered. So, okay, so first impressions, it definitely smells like Karnak Temple, like Karnak Temple definitely smells like it spot on, spot on dupes, like spot on dupes. So I know I, I knew um, I was going to love it. Um, they smell the exact same. It, ha it's ha it has like a cold smell to it in my, opi in my opinion. Um, I couldn't really explain how Karnak Temple smelled. So I don't think I can explain how this smells, but it smells like a boost of confidence it smells badass it smells like it can it smells versatile it smells like it can be worn in any situation like in any situation it smells like it can be worn to an interview but it smells like it can be worn to a dance like you know it smells 
versatile to me and that is very very beastly and it's very powerful so i know that the longevity and the sillage and the projection will be great for that money i'm sure it will be great um and i've never i don't think i've ever heard bad about the house zerjoff um so yeah but i do like it i do like it like i really do like it first impressions one out of ten i would give it an nine i'll give it a nine impressions i like it i'll give it a nine um so far it has been on the paper for a minute and it still smells linear like it doesn't smell like it's going to dry down to smell different so it's just one straight fragrance top bottom it's the same thing it's going to like it but i really do love it also and i'm excited that i have a zerjoff in my collection um and it was a gift from my brother so yeah i'm very excited to wear this like i'm very excited to see, to see how it wears on my body i think the next fragrance video i do i'm going to wear it and then like tell you an update in like the intro part but yeah i do like it like i really do like it it still makes me smile like carnet temple makes me smile so this gave me the same exact feeling which is what i want i want to feel happy when i smell my fragrances and as long as i'm happy and i like how it smells i'm going to wear it you cannot like it that's fine with you that's fine with me so just wear with wear what makes you feel good and the dupe made me feel good so i'm positive that the fragrance is going to make me feel good. Now, I sprayed the Zerjoff on this side. I'm going to actually spray Karnak Temple on the other side. Let me see if Karnak Temple has the exact same notes as More Than Words. Okay, so it has fruity notes. Uh, da, da. Okay, so it has the exact same notes as Zerjoff. So that's exactly why they smell alike. I don't need to spray that anymore because I know how it is. Okay, so let's see if they smell the exact same. Let's tear the paper. I'm trying to find which one is Zerjoff. Okay, so. Okay, so. This is Zerjoff. This is More Than Words. This is um Karnak Temple. Okay, so. Let me smell Karnak Temple. Okay, so. There's a little difference with Kanak Temple. Kanak Temple is a little bit more sweeter. So it has fruity notes. So the fruity note is in front of the oud and on the Zerjov, the oud is in front of the fruity notes. So definitely Kanak Temple, it, it's a bit more sweet. Just just a bit more sweet than Zerjov. I mean, they do smell the exact same, but the Kanak Temple is a bit more sweet. Wow, like, I, like it's a bit more sweet for real. Like the Zerg Jeff smells good. It smells nice. You still can get the fruity notes, of course. You can get you can smell the fruity notes, but the kind of temple just kinda amplified it a little bit more and make it a little bit more sweeter. Ooh. Okay. I really do love Karnak Temple. Like I and this is becoming my most complimented fragrance. Like whenever whenever I wear it, I am asked what am I wearing? Like once a lady told me to write it down on a piece of paper and tell her like said no the Zerge off I'll give me that and more again remember that I haven't worn it on my skin so so far I think I like Karnak Temple a little bit more so if I were to give Zerge off 9 I'll give Karnak Temple 9.5 like just for, for the added sweetness good night <laughs> um so yeah guys those are my thoughts on Search of modern words. I really do love both fragrances, and I am definitely going to wear both fragrances. Um, I probably I'm going to wear it a little bit too much, so I need to prepare myself for that because I know I'm going to wear it a lot. So those are my thoughts on Zerjoff more than words. Let me know what are your thoughts. Do you have any Zerjoffs in your collection? Which ones? Which ones are worth? smelling because i really do like the packaging like i really want to see if i like any more so which ones are worth smelling i've smelled ibapura which i do like because i like the al haramin amber wood gold so i do like ubapura i've smelled a sample of that 
I hate Cruz de la Sol too, or I think that's how it's pronounced if I can remember correctly. I hate it. It smells like it smells like rotten bananas or rotten some rotten fruit. It smells it smells bad. Like if I can remember what my thoughts were, because I ri I wrote them down. So if I can remember what my thoughts or are on that fragrance. I'll put on the screen so there's actually another um, Zerja fragrance that I really do want um, I've never smelt it but I saw that Nisha I believe her name is um, her channel is spicy look fragrance I'll have it linked up on the screen or down below um, I heard her talking about ivory root ivory root um, ivory root I think it's <laughs> ivory root that feels very hard to say i don't know for some reason um so i heard her speaking about it and i instantly went to look up the notes and i bookmarked my ticket say i wanted a sample or i wanted to try it a 10 mil or something i wanted it in my collection because of how she was talking about it in her video in her zerja video i believe so i want to smell that one so let me know if there's any other that i definitely 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 need to smell from the house so that's it for this video guys let me know your thoughts down below and i will see you next time